There's another kind of content that is incredibly important. It's one of the main pieces of currency uh, inside of LinkedIn. And, and that is giving recommendations. Now, I would say this is kind of the, 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 the coin to the realm, the, the social juice. Um, for those people whom you've worked with, um, giving a recommendation and receiving a recommendation is incredibly powerful. Just like we go to Yelp or Google reviews to look at the whether we wanna work with a restaurant. Um, when you're in a B2B space and you're looking to do business with someone, those reviews matter a lot. And goodness, if you happen to have a connection, a personal connection with one of those reviewers, you can then call that person and ask them to tell you a little bit more about Joe. So um, what I would say is giving and receiving reviews is one of the most important things you can do on LinkedIn and one of the uh, heaviest lifts. A lot of us don't do it as much as we should. So, so Joe, talk a little bit about um, how you can use AI to uh, draft reviews and, and maybe even potentially help um, draft a review someone can write on your behalf for them. So first of all, I have a question for the audience. How many recommendations do you currently have on LinkedIn? I want everyone to set a goal to get at least three new recommendations in 2023. Getting three recommendations in 2023 will help you have fresh recommendations because LinkedIn by default shows three recommendations on your profile. So if you have recommendations in 2018 or from 2008, it's not really going to be relevant to what's going on right now in your business. So commit to getting three more and put it in the chat how many you have, because a lot of people don't even know how many they have. Evy AI, and there are other tools that do this as well, help you create thoughtful recommendations for your LinkedIn connections. Now, one of the reasons why I like leaving recommendations for people is because when I leave a recommendation for somebody, they feel like they owe me something. They feel like I did something really nice for them. And one of the laws of influence is reciprocity. If you read the book called Influence, I don't know if you guys ever read that book. It's a really, really powerful book. That book talks about the different ways that you can influence people. And a way to influence somebody is by leaving them a thoughtful recommendation on LinkedIn. Another benefit that I get besides influencing you if I leave you a recommendation is that I also get real estate on your page. So if I leave you a recommendation, uh, and we can, I can show you some of the recommendations that I've left. If I share my screen, I can show you some of them that I left. Um, and you can see how powerful they are. It gives me real estate on somebody's page. And often that's the only recommendation they'll ever get. So if I, I can't leave Brian a recommendation, even though Brian's um, one of the members here that, that's on here live from Key Plus, he's a chief executive officer. I can send a connection request to Brian, um, but I can't leave him a recommendation because if I click the more button, the option for leaving a recommendation is not here. That's because he's not a first degree connection with me. You see, it's a second degree. You can't just randomly give people recommendations. You can only give recommendations to people that you're connected to. So if I'm connected to Elizabeth, for example, I could refresh the page. If she accepted my connection request, which I see she did, now what I can do is I can click on the more button over here and I can actually recommend Elizabeth. Now, I don't know much about Elizabeth, but from my small interactions with her, I see she's a generous person. She's really smart. She looks like she knows what she's doing. So I may want to leave a recommendation for her, maybe now or maybe in the future. So if I want to leave one, I click on recommend. And then I talk about our relationship. I say, um, she's either a client or I'm a client of hers. Or what, what is the relationship that we have over here? And then I select the position. For example, maybe attorney, maybe I want to leave a recommendation when she was a law student or whatever it is. And then I can draft the recommendation. Now, the problem is, is I'm not sure what to say. So using a tool like Evy AI, when you click on the little tool here, you select first the relationship. Let me see. You have to first select the relationship. You first select the relationship. So for example, Elizabeth was a client of mine. And then you select um, the position and then you press Evy AI. It starts understanding what it is. So I'm going to say Elizabeth. I'm going to add the command, Elizabeth, Elizabeth is generous. Okay, I'm going to write Elizabeth is generous and kind. I'm going to press generate. It's going to consider that. It's going to consider the relationship that I wrote. It's going to consider the position. And it's going to draft a highly detailed recommendation that some of it's going to be lies because it doesn't know exactly everything. So it's going to make some things up. So that's where I have to customize it and actually tell the truth because AI does hallucinate sometimes. And so it wrote up all this information over here 
and I'm going to read this later and make sure that it actually makes sense. I'm not actually going to leave this now. I'm not going to edit it in front of you, but I can actually edit the entire recommendation. And I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to hit discard. I'm not going to actually leave this recommendation out, but I'm not going to, you can actually see all the recommendations that somebody left. So if you click on view profile, you can actually see someone's profile. You can scroll down and you can take a look at what recommendations they received and what recommendations they got. So as you can see, I received quite a few recommendations on my profile. The last one that I got was August 4th. And by the way, any of you that are connected to me, if we're connected on LinkedIn, you can leave me a recommendation just like Paul and Meredith did August 4th. So if I scroll down, you can see I have 446 recommendations because a lot of people value the things that I do. And now that they can use artificial intelligence to write recommendation, it makes it much easier. But you can also see who I gave a recommendation to. So if I click on given, you can see that I gave David, Meredith, Paul, and 182 other people recommendations. And as you can see right over here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit lower. And you can see I gave Jocelyn, my, my landmark trainer. Anybody here has done uh, the landmark forum, very powerful personal development class. Uh, Miriam, one of my clients. Tanya, another client of mine and so on and so forth, and Nicole, and so on. So let's say, for example, I wanted to give Dan a recommendation because I wanted to, and by the way, I recommend all of you that are clients of BizHack or that appreciate what Dan's doing to go to his profile and spend two minutes, if you're connected to him, and write him a recommendation. Say how amazing he is. Dan's doing so much great work educating you guys and putting all this together. Why not leave a recommendation that he can later use on his course and that he can later promote further? So I'm going to click on more. I'm going to click on recommend. And I highly recommend Dan because I personally know Dan. I've seen everything he's done. I've seen his program. I think his program is fantastic. And I highly, highly recommend that everyone invest in it. Dan was a client of mine. You were a client of Dan. So I'm going to write, I was a client of Dan. I'm going to write, he was the founder and CEO of BizHack. And I'm going to, and I'm just going to allow it to generate on its own. And then I'll quickly customize it and show you how long it takes. So it's actually reading his post right now. It's reading our relationship. It's reading the position. I didn't enter a command. I can enter a command after, but in this case, I'm just not going to enter a command. I'm just going to have it just um, uh, recommend. I'm going to press insert over here. And it's going to say, highly recommend Dan for his exceptional expertise and AI tools, blah, blah, blah. As a founder and CEO of BizHack, had his major success in force within Miami's tech and marketing, showcased deep understanding of personal work. During my time as client of Dan, I consistently was impressed by his ability to empower business owners, blah, blah, blah. His courses and his private coaching not only teach technical skills, but blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to delete this first part over here because I don't really like the sentence here. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to say Dan's track record for success speaks for itself. He has helped numerous people achieve $200,000, undeniable. In addition to his role, I'm going to delete the in addition to his role stuff over here. And I'm going to say, I have no doubt Dan's passion, knowledge, and education make him the number one choice for AI, educa uh, AI and business education. Highly recommended by his stuff now, okay? So highly recommended by his stuff now. Um, I'm going to make sure space here and I'm going to press send. And yes, it did take me 30 seconds to a minute to put this together. But if I had to write this on my own, it would have taken me, I kid you not, 15 to 20 minutes or 30 minutes even because I would have to think about what to say. And then I would have to start typing it up and then I would have to edit it. And after I go back and look at his profile and, and reference his information. So instead, it just took me a few seconds. Now, Dan still has to go into his profile and approve it in order for it to show up. So where is it going to show up? It's going to show up on his profile under recommendations. So you see August 19th, Jennifer left him a recommendation. Uh, but this was 2021. So I'm going to get real estate on Dan's profile as soon as he approves it. He, I'm going to get real estate on his profile and I'm going to do something good for Dan because I believe everything that I wrote over there. And it's a powerful, beautiful recommendation. So he has to go and approve it. And once it approves, I could refresh his page and it'll show up over here. Dan, what do you think about the recommendation? Did I lie over there or did I say the truth? <laughs> Click on show all pending and hit approve. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to show everybody where, where this shows up. So, you know, here's my profile. Um, and then just you scroll down to the uh, recommendations section. Um, and I got to say, you know, not as many received or, or given uh, as our friend. So congratulations on those numbers. I know how much uh, effort and work it takes to do that. And then I go into show all pending. Uh, and, and there is Joe. 
Um, now press add to profile and it'll go live on your profile and everyone can go to your profile later and actually read it. So if you guys want to read it, just go to Dan's profile. Mike just put a link for Dan's profile in the chat. So go read it. Now, the other thing I tell everyone to do, all of my clients, I tell you, take a screenshot of the recommendation that you received and then share that screenshot with the world as a post. So you can tell ChatGPT or copy.ai to write a post about the recommendation that you received, paste the recommendation in there, and it'll write a post about it, encouraging other people to get recommendations. And now you have a screenshot with the recommendation. Everybody will read it because you wrote a post about it. And then you have AI write the content for that post. It makes it very powerful. Fantastic. And thank you for the kind words. It's been, uh, you're a mensch, and it's been a pleasure working with you on all this.